previously on Alan Wake. Under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together, we can create something absolutely wonderful. The Lagan, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Watery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up. Uh, let's try to hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. What was in the light? In the light. In the light. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ugh. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, ow. Ow, this is not good. That about sums it up. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Oh, I am never drinking again. Uh. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, what Al, but we're stuck here. Night, They're not yeah, gonna... Even interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. Uh-oh. Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get... Get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know... Oh my god! Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Oh, man. We're sitting ducks with the lights out. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it. But it all rang true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind real. <laughs> That's awesome. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him, and dragged him into the night. What the hell? Where'd Barry go? Oh, he's just chilling. Okay. 
things. Wait, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on, let's get back to your friend. Who's probably been eaten by the darkness already. Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No! We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list, Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me, though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Can't Through the go back. Out the front. My hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I could order one, Al? <laughs> yeah, sure. <sighs> oh, hell. Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? Are you sure? Okay, then. But hurry. Hmm. Yeah, no. Do not want. Do not want. Well, that, by the way, is the most useless situation like we put this ladder here so people couldn't climb up but we put the lever that allows them to climb up directly next to it I mean, who does that honestly I don't know why I want to kill all of these things. You don't have to. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt that they're there unless you walk into them. Ooh, what was that? In light you can hurt them. Yes, thank you. That one I did have to get rid of though so I could climb this. And there's another one right there. The only real reason to deal with these things because yeah I almost walked into it by accident just from my momentum it's because if you start a shootout like oh gosh stupid birds like if I'm focusing on these birds and I have to run somewhere ah Oh god, there's a third! Holy crap. Yeah. Ugh. I got one of them at least, maybe two. There it is. Gotcha. They are such a pain in the ass. Because <laughs> they always come from the direction your back is turned. Whoa. Whoa. Don't fall off. What did I just say? Keep, uh... Okay, let's not land on those. There we go. I think I just need to use my batteries more. I'm getting very squeamish about using my batteries for some reason. Ah, and I also walked right over and started this while I was still on low battery. That's another problem I just had. Okay, so let's do this. Got him. 
That makes things a lot easier. The trick is they go away when I'm looking at them. But if they're all on different sides of me, I can't look at them all at the same time. Oh, that looks like our ride over there, though. So I have to, like, look away and then look back. There we go. So we can get them. Yeah, I'm almost certain that's our helicopter. All right. There we go. Now we can get down. No more hey, falling Sarah, to our death. Your password. Night Springs? What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. need to bypass the damaged control box. What am I, an electrician? Hold on! Ow, oh, man! That's smart! Our first stop is the town hall. The keys to the chopper are there. Well, they don't call it nightmare difficulty for nothing. Alright. Much better. Give me some more revolver ammo and I'm ready to go. Except for the whole creepy light and shadow thing here. Look out! Oops. Take that! See, this game, you learn to actually use your flares and not just uh, keep them for later. Huh, I thought I hit the dodge key there. Definitely a little harder in nightmare mode than I remember it. That deer fest truck's gonna come flying back down this way, I just know it. Over. Wait, wait for me. Man, if a boat starts going crazy and attacking us, I'm going to be ah.
yours were rude. What do we have here? More batteries. Excellent. Now I can feel a little bit more free to use my own. Ah! That was close. I don't have many of those oh shit flares left. Oh no! I used a flare instead of reloading! Well, now I have none, sh none of those oh shit flares left. Ah! Covered my ass there. Jesus. I don't even see that guy. Where'd he come from? Ah, a light. Excellent. Oh, that does not bode well. Oh, good flares. Although this seems like the kind of job for a shotgun. Watch my back, Wake. It's an ambush. Wait a minute, what? Why don't we just go through the the gate? Oh boy. I had to use all three flares in that fight. And I almost ran out of ammo for my shotgun. Well, now the gate opens. Come on, we could have just shot them as they came through the gate that whole time. What is your major malfunction, Sheriff? Don't you know tactics? Strategy? thought I saw something over here shining in the light for me to pick up. No thermos. Can't jump over cars. Okay, noted. Someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? Fine. They should be in the clerk's office on the other side of the building near the main entrance. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. 
The story in the manuscript had been making it stronger all the time, but now the light had set the writer free and heard it, weakened it. It was only a matter of days before the dark presence would be strong again. But meanwhile, it would be difficult to recapture the writer. Hmm. The message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry. Oh boy. Is he coming through? What? What just happened? Did I completely defy the darkness by closing a door in its face? What? Oh, there he is. What? What? Ooh, ooh, big flashlight. Yes, please. More power. What the? Where did he go? <laughs> Hunting rifle, yes, because I'm out of ammo for the shotgun, so might as well. And a thermos. Did she just... How did she get in over here? Did she come through one of these doors? She did, did she? But I didn't even find any keys. Oh boy, flashbangs. Hell yeah. There's the helicopter key. Okay. Okay, Sheriff. I got the keys. Hey, Sapior. Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh god! Oh god! Barry! Look out! Barry, move! Ah! Barry! Oh, he boy. made it inside, Wake. He's okay. Probably. The storefront's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back. Oh, how convenient. Hmm. The permanent and thriving town it is today. Yes. I'm coming, Sheriff. I'm coming. Don't freak out. Let you handle this one, Sheriff. All right, we got this. I'm gonna try out some Mech Warrior Online later today and stream that for a bit. I think this game is getting slowed down by my recording. We can make though. it through the bookstore. Wheeler should be waiting for us in the backyard. Oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over deer fest. I know. Go back to bed. He's got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. It's me they want. The sooner I get out of here, the sooner you can all get back to life as usual. I hope you're right. Come on, let me get this door open. Wait, you got the keys to the bookstore? Perks of being the sheriff. A girl needs to get around. Here's what I don't get. The sudden stop came out two years before this. Why are there still posters everywhere? 
They're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. Ah. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right. Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always getting into them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls abandoned power plant. She marked her caches with light-sensitive paint that could only be seen by eyes that had been touched by darkness and saved by light like she'd been. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. So she's the one that's been leaving those caches of goodies of everywhere. Writing. Nothing up here for me to take. No thermos hiding. I guess not. Wait a minute. What was that? Batteries! I knew I saw some pick up. Flash on the screen briefly. I don't see Barry. Look! Wake! Maybe that's him! That's the way to the chopper! Well, let's go then! Oh, but I want to play on the jungle gym. Oh well. Ooh. Thank you, dear fest. I've already got the lantern. Huh. Bright Falls Power has those cases that I keep seeing everywhere. Must be Cynthia. No need for revolver ammo in here. Alright. I'm coming, let's do this. They just gave me a huge cash. This church is probably gonna be filled with bad guys. I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. Here they come. Let's take a break. This is as good a fortified position as any. Oops. I wanted to use my revolver. Oh, fatty acids are good for your heart. What is that about fatty acids? Oh boy, I hate these guys. They're so fast. Oh god! Screw you, guy. Whoa! Speedy devil. One out there, at least. I've only got flashbangs now. I probably won't be able to actually hit him with because he moves too fast. He's gonna try to come at me, bro. Got him. There's one more. He's out here. Gotcha. Whew. Is that it? Can we get in the church now?
Deer fest candle night. Okay, it's open. Let's go, Wake. Those lights are where the chopper is, I think. Wow. We keep them lit all night long on the night before Deer Fest. Why? Well, it's tradition. Well, that was convenient. For it to be free, the Dark Presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript. But it could pursue the writer indirectly, put others on the task, and stop those who would help him. It took over everything in its path, made them its puppets, and sent them after Alan Wake. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. Let's get to this damn chopper. We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Really? Yeah. There's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. Why don't we just go over the freaking windows right here? I can see the window. We can go outside. <sighs> because it's a story. That's why. There we go. I accidentally threw two of those. Damn it, really? I meant to throw one, it just didn't explode. At least not right away. Get out of the door! Did you call 911? Whoa! How did that happen? That one saw the light, huh? Barry, I can't even see anything. Holy you didn't like shit. That one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What what are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. <laughs> vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. Sure, Barry, like vampires. Could be worse. He could be Francis. I hate vampires. They're zombies, Francis. I know. Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. <laughs> I wish I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. Bastard. Alice had screamed until she had no voice left to scream. Around her, the darkness was alive. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. She was a prisoner, trapped in the dark place. The terror would have burned her mind out, but one thing made her hang on. She could sense Alan in the dark. She could hear him. She could see the words he was writing as flickering. Hmm. Thank you for the flare. Now let's do this. Game seems to be running a little sluggishly. I think it's because I'm streaming and capturing at the same time. Might not do that for the next one. When someone throws a damn school bus at your head and you're about to take a helicopter ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license, or cleared for departure to Night Springs. Hell yeah, flashbangs. Hmm, good thing I turned and looked that way. He was being silent. Oh, really? Falling rocks. Fantastic. Now I have to look up. Come in right close and then flare your face. Oh god. How many 
many times before. There we go. Now we got three people with flashlights, bitch. Get him. There it is. That was a little close, but I pulled it out. Leap over the telephone pole. The helicopter's just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. Don't take too long. I want to get out of here. Of course you'll need a while to prep for takeoff. Of course you will. Oh yeah, flashbang, shotgun ammo. What is not to love? Hey, flare gun. Oh yeah. Pump action shotgun. I think so. And batteries. I desperately needed those. Oh man, I am guessing this is going to be some kind of epic super fight here. They're giving me all of this. Plus special lights. More fucking flashbangs? Man, what are they going to throw at me? A flashbang will take out a whole wave all by itself. They've given me tons of them. Oh shit! Light on. Skewer them with light. this. I don't know, but I want it. It's batteries. Pick the batteries. Keep the light on them. This on. Turn this one on. Stairs, damn it. Fucking her. I didn't want to have to use that, but I've got seven of them, so I will do what I need to do. Any time now would be great. She's getting closer. Just get 
a mean weaver, Sheriff. You're taking a big chance on a local crazy lady, Al. I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. <laughs> For that matter, I hope so too, as the player. She turned the lights right on the birds, that was awesome. What happened to my really nice lantern? Now I got this giant flashlight instead? I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the fact that it's a heavy-duty light, but I like the heavy-duty lantern. It seemed to do more damage faster. They're gonna try to sneak up on me. Ugh. Once they get out of range, I can't do anything. I have to pretend to turn my back so they come at me. Bro, come at me. There we go. Take that. Once you kill enough of the flock. The rest will settle down. Wait, I don't even have... Oh, man, I lost all my stuff! Well, I guess that explains why I don't have... Ooh, I have plenty of revolver ammo, though. I had to do something about the chain for the door to open. Uh, could I shoot the chain? I guess I can shoot the chain. Son of a bitch. Whoa! Ow. I don't got the shit button. It's a lot harder without flares, I tell you what. Even with the heavy duty uh, thing here. Maybe all I needed to do was get in here, but I fought him.
Darkness controls the Taken. Oh, supplies. So many supplies. Shotgun ammo. Who leaves your shotgun in their freaking garage? And flares. Oh, thank God, flares and batteries. Oh, man. This game knows how to treat someone right. And here's a new song from a band that... They always remind me of our local rock band. Damn, I didn't want to do that, but I got trapped by the objects. I don't even know what to do with that. That was so many of them. Alright, well, let's try again. Shall we? And here's a new song from a band that... They always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. Anyway. Flare. Get this other guy. Is he strong? Oh, saw that coming. Jesus, now he's here? Two of them? Maybe I can slip past him. Nope. That's not gonna work. Not gonna work. Maybe I can. Keep running, Alex. Ugh. Alex. Not Alex. Alan. Ah. Oh. I'm pretty sure... And here's a new song from there's the not supposed to be that many of them. Flare, let me out here. Holy shit, there is a light right there. Oof. Okay, that was way easier. <laughs> yeah, this is by the guys who made the... Oh boy, okay, they're back. I don't want to go in there then. Let's keep running. There we go. It uh, It's by the guys that made Max Payne, and they allude in this game that the guy I'm playing as is the guy who wrote the Max Payne stories, sort of. The power plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. It does look difficult to get across. Why is 
the sound of somebody breathing? What is going on? Oh, jeez, of course. are big for a lumberjack. There we go. Ooh, wait a minute. Is there a cache over here? There is a cache over here. Thank you, Cynthia Weaver. You win all the things. Huh. Not gonna be able to get that yet. Every time I go around the corner, I'm expecting somebody to be there, so I gotta look around every corner in exactly the right way. Huh. Oh, I didn't need to do that, I could just walk down the stairs. Hey, look, a light. <sighs> Makes me feel so much better when I have a lot of supplies. shot coming from that guy. We will stop doing what it is you're doing. Back! Back! Uh -huh. gate between us now. What you gonna do, punk? Aim for the head. Aim for the head. Aim for the head! Although I'm not sure it actually calculates headshots or anything like that. What is this part of the story? Making your way through the water pipe alone. Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. Okay then. I like these boxes. Emergency boxes filled with flares and batteries. That just happen to be the correct batteries for me to use. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a bad place for an ambush at all. There we go. Just drive them into the electricity, that's all. Again. There we go. Because electricity itself, it's kind of a light. It's, ki it's a kind of light, is what I was trying to say. Now how the hell am I going to get from here over to there? Is there something back here for me to sneak? Nope. Nothing there for me to sneak.
Somebody has their own little spot over here. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story, but the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. Hmm. That sounds appealing. Can't shoot the... six-pack, I guess. I don't like the fact that there were no supplies there. I want supplies. Hey, look, a bridge that goes across the river. Get out of here, birds. Damn it, that's foreshadowing, isn't it? We're gonna have a bird attack here in a second. Good thing I got plenty of batteries. Don't need bullets when you're fighting birds. Everybody knows that. Ooh, this is a new one. Children of the Elder God Lyrics by Old Gods of Asgard. The first verse in chorus. Warriors, torchbearers, come redeem our dreams. Shine a light upon this night of otherworldly fiends. Odin's might be your guide. Divorce you from the sane. Hammer's way will have its say. Rise up in their name. O memory and thought, jet black and clawed. Children of the Elder God, scourge of light upon the dark. Hmm. Well then. This shouldn't be a problem. I just turn the bridge on and uh and it rotates and and uh I go right across, right? No problems. Oh god. He's a worker guy with a sickle for some reason. Damn it. Flare gun. Yes, flare gun. Flare gun. I love the flare gun. Now, how come my flare gun isn't bound to the right key here? Flare gun is nine. No, flare gun should be that. Right? Yes. So now I can go pistol, that, flare gun. Perfect. See? Easy as pie. It's coming right over right now. What? Come on. You can do it. We believe in you. Always the birds! Wait a minute. I went the wrong damn way. It's not gonna stop spinning. Gotta get there. And jump! Come on, come on, come on, Alan, go! Oh. We managed to lose the plot. All the Springs. Noises. I can't enjoy night springs. An absence of creativity. Hello, Martha. What did you want to show me? Oh, Lydia, thank God you're here. Please, it's in the basement.
That was just weird. The story of a writer being written into a story. All right, anyway, now that you ruined all that with your stupid hovering, Bad guys, bad guys. Good job, I, I, I take it all back. I'm turn that down now, it's a little loud. Oh, damn it, I shot him. Die. It took far too much going on there. You didn't see me struggling? You guys couldn't have come over and, you know, hovered a little bit over that way? No? All right. stay inside the light here. You know what? Screw you guys. Ammo left. There we go. Listen, there are things you're supposed to knock over, or and one of them was like a beer pyramid of cans. Fucking no. Air gun ammo. Hell yeah. Light. Light. And what is that? More things. I like things. This game teaches me to like lots of things. Not that every game doesn't do that, but still. Oh, come on. We're so close. There's got to be a way inside. If I could actually aim, I wouldn't be wasting so much ammo, huh? Yeah. Reload and then kill them all. There we go. Ugh. I shouldn't have had to waste that flare. I did poorly. Poorly, I say. the logo on the power plant sign. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying hidden caches of supplies. Is that a page? It is. I have to go all the way around. 
trust no one in the dark. But how do I get there? How do I get to that page? Maybe I can't get there yet? Maybe this gate needs to be opened? I honestly don't know. Anyway, I'll go in here. Uh, hold it right there! Miss Weaver! Cynthia! I'm a friend! Prove it! Uh you knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the lady of the light in the song! You can help me! About time! Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. It's in the well-lit room. Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. The well-lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. We won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us? Hmm? <laughs> I have a secret route. A lit route. Old water pipe. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's me. All the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Something is draining. The power, huh? Let me guess. You want me to do it. Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. Kill switches outside. Well, okay. We'll do that then. Still don't know how to read that page. But maybe. maybe go around. Ah! Was there ammo in there and I missed it because. All them with that? Really? All right, let's go find this page. The poet and the muse, lyrics by old gods of Asgard, the chorus. And now to see your love set free, you will need the witch's cabin key. Find the lady of the light, gone mad with the night. Find the lady of the light, still raving in the night. That's how you reshape destiny. Hmm. Oh, but, um... Weaver had sent me to cut the power to the transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. I hoped Weaver was dependable. I had stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. Over there, which that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. Oh, I need to get all of them, huh? This is one of those puzzles. Lots 
authorized personnel only, huh? Huzzah! You literally push them, like, in a row, and you'll figure it out. Keep the lights on. Rule number two. Hey, now I can shoot beer cans. Damn it. No. Shoot this. It's right here. There we go. See? Achievement unlocked. Carney. Knock over five pyramids. That's why I needed to shoot beer cans. Wait, do I have a shotgun? I do have a shotgun. Let's reload that before I touch any buttons. And reload this. Oh, I literally only have those three shots. Okay. Oh god! Here I thought, let me just race across this whole thing. Nope. These things. The transmitter yard went dark and dark. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be good to go. I still have to make it back. <laughs> Luckily, all I have to do is make it back. I just have to pass by every one of them and make it back. I don't have enough ammo to fight anybody. Oh, God! Open the gate, open the gate! There we go. I made it! I think. Let me in! Hurry! The little light thing! Ah! Whew! Oh man, there was a whole lantern over here, I didn't even know it. Oh. Yeah, but I want ammo. Don't you have, like, revolver ammo, even? I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. And such a crush on him. Such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. And then Tom started writing and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring him back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. Which looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Really? <sighs> he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. No, oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my game, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me. Or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written, and none of us will survive to see the end. If the darkness isn't stopped, she'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom, that's the way he wrote it. 
He still talks to me. In television, from beyond, from below. For you've both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light, but the darkness stays with you. You sustain. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Al! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? Uh oh. Barry! We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend! Huh? <laughs> uh oh. Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. He's not good at landing, is he? At least I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild. As a hundred birds made out of shadow swarmed into the rotor, the chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. Ooh. Yes, hunting rifle ammo. Thank you. Checkpoint, go. Hey, look, there's a... There's a page up there. I need to get that first. Get it. Ooh, it's a new one. Children of the Elder God lyrics by Old Gods of Asgard. The second verse in chorus. Scratching hag, you can rake your claws and gnash your crooked teeth. You've taken slaves like ocean waves, now feel the ocean seethe. Father Tor blessed the war between the dark and light. In their songs, let their wrongs bring disillusion's night. Oh, memory and thought, jet black and clawed. Children of the Elder God, scourge of light upon the dark. Hmm. Whoa! Oh, fantastic. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's say I don't care about that page. <sighs> or I just kill the birds first, then get the page. Get all of them that time at least? Jeez. Die. Got him. Are we almost at the helicopter? Again? How many birds are there here? So many batteries to use up here. Barry! Jerry! 
Group Breaker! Sarah! The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Well, that's helpful. The well-lit room is this way. Fight, but we got it. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I knew you'd be all right. Is there a cash up here? The Flaming Eye of Mordor. Weaver will meet us at the dam. Where are they? Are they coming? Oh, they came the same way I did. To the light! So much more resistance than the other ones did. things where I just needed to go forward to the light and then they'll disappear. Damn. I should start thinking about that more. <laughs> just we're keep moving. It. Are we safe? That was wow. I think we're okay. Wait, call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. I think I hear something moving around. Oh more flares. Hell yeah. Flare gun. So cool. They're coming. We have to hold them off. Right there. Ah! No! Whoa. Somehow that did not hit them. Oh, I thought I had the shotgun in my, or the uh, revolver in my hand. I probably didn't need to use that. It's almost here. Just hold on. Let's go. Hit the button. 
What button? There's a button. I can hit it. Why can't you hit it, Barry? Damn it. Just because I'm the player character doesn't mean I have to hit every single button. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas? Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. <laughs> Don't get so defensive, Wake. Jeez. Let's be careful, okay? Is that your way of saying that we're going to have one more big fight before the end? Okay, wait. There's a button over there that opens the door. I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, of course. Should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. Good luck. Don't get yourself killed. Ah, please be careful. I'll take good care of Barry, Wait. You just look after yourself. How the hell do I get up there? Oh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I tried to get behind the tree and it did not happen in time. Down, boy. Manuscript page. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. Hmm. Now I'm home free, right? Can't possibly be more to this one level. Unless the whole dam essentially explodes. Man, they're super aggressive. I'm... Huh, I don't even have any flares anymore, only flashbangs. Ooh, there's a flare. Uh-oh. I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Found one in there, hiding. Oh, there is one hiding over here. See one. He's hiding behind those damn tree uh, boxes. Hmm. 
think I need to kill the rest of them myself. Unless I can simply tempt him out into the... Yeah, there we go. There we go. I think that's all of them. Oh! Coming to the light, and... Well, I guess I just to shoot you. There we go. Uh-oh. Enough. You will go no further. Huh. Stop. Stop now. Really? So I will go no further so you, you launch something and clear the only way for me to go. Where the hell do I go? Shit. Oh, I even leapt at the right time. <laughs> ah. Ah. Whoa, whoa. Now she's fighting dirty. Run, Alan, run! God damn it! What is your major malfu- Oh, I hit my sprint key instead of my jump key. <laughs> That's what my major malfunction is. Oh. Well, this is interesting. Right back here. Jump! There we go, now I hit it correctly. Ah! I'm coming! Oh god! Whew. need changing soon and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired and if you take it I won't have to do that anymore the page was autobiographical a memory from my childhood but I didn't write this it was a page written by Thomas Zane none of them were supposed to exist anymore Alan seven years old would fight sleep to the bitter end when he did sleep he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, 
and flicking a switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. <laughs> I can get to her now. I can finish this. Yeah, it was Max Payne reading that. Oh man, I love the twists and turns this game takes! So, at the beginning of the game, you go back in time and have this flashback moment where he tells his wife about the clicker, and he gives it to her, but it turns out that that whole part of his life from the past where he got the clicker was written into existence by Thomas Zane in the 70s. Specifically, so that he could have it now to defeat the Dark Presence and save his wife. Awesome. Alright guys. I'm out. Check out the next episode. It should be a button in the bottom uh, corner here whenever I put it up. Subscribe to the channel if you're waiting for that. And uh, twitch.tv slash bridger15 is where I stream. So, uh, whew. I think I'm going to go play some Mech Warrior Online next. Have a good one.